Hey friends, it's Kitty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my Panda Palette update number five. It should be number six, but I didn't do one last month just because I didn't really have anything to update on. There was really no change and I thought it'd be such a boring video. Like who wants to sit around and hear me talk about nothing changing? Like that's boring. If I can admit it's boring, then you know that it's boring. You know what I mean? So I have an update on the Panda Palette and stuff. My Carly Bible original palette, the palette I'm dying to get in my closet. Collection. like seriously I can't wait to get this out of my collection not because I hate it I definitely don't love it but I just want to like you know like use my other palettes and yes I will be doing a panda palette next year I've been thinking about that just being it like being six months in I've been thinking about my projects for next year and I'm definitely still going to do one next year I'm super excited there's definitely palettes there's a few palettes I know I feel like every year I'm going to be doing one just because I love doing them I think they're fun but also I'd like to get things out of my collection use them up yeah we're pinning the carly bible palette this year i'm gonna have all my other updates up above including my intro video and just updates one through four and this is where we started off in the beginning of the project and this is where we were at last month so i just want to show you that so you can see like the expansion i guess i don't know and also for this video i made a little bit of progress but also i do want to include a tutorial of me like using some shadows from this palette just because i feel like it's going to still be a boring video if i don't I'll show you something else if you know what I mean. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. This is what my palette looks like at the current moment. We've definitely extended in pans. We've panned more and stuff and I definitely see some like improvement in here. Not much, but we've worked at it and I'll talk about that. So as you know, I've finished up the two highlights and then five shadows so far in this project if you've been following along. So the first one, I did extend the pan on this like mauve shade. It's actually harder than I thought to like pan. I don't know why. I think it's just because the pan sizes are like more firmly packed than any other palette I've panned. It's definitely firmly packed, but it's definitely doable to use it up and stuff and to use that shadow. And I'm extending the pan every day. I like doing the eye look that I did today, like a couple times a week, just to be able to even use that color and stuff. And I feel like it's going to be a harder shade to pan, but I'm hoping maybe by end of August, I will have that pan. Hopefully we'll see and stuff. So I've been really working with that one, just trying to use it in every look I do. It's kind of worth the point where I'm you trying to use up shades that are kind of hard to use up if you know what I mean some of these shades are just they're so firmly packed but also some of these shades are just like not like your everyday shades like the other shades I could use on an everyday basis but these ones aren't really everyday type colors so it's getting to that point and then I have been using the purple and I think I've had like a dent in there but not really and same with the brown I use it but it's kind of hard to pan those colors because I don't use a lot when I do use them you know what I mean and like I suppose I could fill my brows with the brown but I don't know like I just don't use it as much and I have been working with the copper shade using this one a ton but I just haven't hit like a ton of progress on it same with the bronze shade I've used it a couple times but I really need to work at using those so I think I might like do looks with those just to be able to use them more you know what I mean and then I have been using the gold shade not too much but a little bit and I feel like I could have like pan on that very soon but I don't know it's not there's not really a dip in it quite yet and then the bronze I haven't really used I don't know it's just such a very deep color so I don't even know if I'll touch it if I if I finish a project and I don't have that pan this palette's going either way if I still have shadows left this palette is going either way so it's not gonna matter but I'm not gonna be mad if I like still have like almost full products of those it's still going either way because I'm not going to use it you know what I mean so that's pretty much for my updates now I want to show this palette in action so I'm going to insert the tutorial I'm going to insert it right now okay so now it's the tutorial part of this pan that palette episode because honestly I haven't panned that much but I also want to make this interesting so here we go I also don't mind the grayness of my hair I don't have gray hairs I promise but I did put dry shampoo in because it was a little greasy feeling today and we're not about that first actually i'm gonna go in with a different combination of shadows so you typically use another palette when i start off just because i don't have good transitions and stuff like that so i'm just gonna take my self-made like little color pop shadow palette thingy and i'm going to use these shadows or some of them at least i'm gonna take firefly first and i'm just gonna set my lid with that i just add a base i already like set it with powder but i always like to do like some type of white color to add like a base and the colors just like look more like vibrant over that color so i always like to 
to set down the lid all the way up to the brow bone just like so and even in the inner corners a tad bit then i'm gonna take that brown shade which is bel air and i'm gonna use that as my transitional color today it's just like a nice warm brown which i really like and that always works well with this kind of look so i'm just swirling that into my crease and outer v or outer corner whatever you want to call it so now the base is down we can go actually into this palette so of course going to my pan palette the carly bible palette this is what we have left as you saw in the intro part of this video and I'm gonna take my other crease brush and take that mauve color which is that one i'm gonna tap it off a good amount and then i'm gonna go into the outer corner with that first and just start blending it in there and even going into the crease and just you know slowly blending it i don't want to start in the crease because i don't want it to be like super like dramatic or dark i just want it to like add you know depth to my eyes taking a little bit more and going especially on that outer part of my eye to add that purple in there and just really focusing in there now taking a flat brush i'm going to take another purple but from a different palette I'm trying to pan this baby so um we're going to take this one i'm going to take that very shimmery purpley pink color pack my brush in there a few times and then we are going to just pack this on the like center on the beginning of my lid so like maybe the first half of my lid and we're gonna kind of just apply this that's in my project pan so like using my pan that palette with other shadows is like getting a bang for my buck because or not even that but like just you know getting like use out of both items i need to use up at the same time which is always a benefit so now i'm gonna do it the same thing to the other eye. Then I'm gonna go back in with this brush and take that, that purpley color and just blend out any edges where it looks a little weird, a little rough. So you always wanna do that. Plus it's gonna add purple back into the look, which is, which is what we want. And I'm just gonna try to blend all that. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with the original color, Bel Air, and just blend out any harsh edges, harsh lines. And I'm going to take a little bit more of the base shade or lid shade and go into my eyes just to make sure that it's there. And that's pretty much the eye look. It looks a lot better of obviously with mascara and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go finish off the rest and not look crazy. Then you will see the beginning of this video. It's kind of fun. I'm filming like the middle or the end before I'm filming the beginning. Weird. Okay, so you saw the tutorial. So you saw this palette kind of in action, how I use it and use it with other, you know, things like this and my color pop and little shadows i have and yeah so my i guess my predictions or what i want to happen next definitely want to extend the paint on this more if not use it up but i don't think i'll use it up next month and then i definitely want to hit dips onto these two shades and definitely a dip into here and maybe the copper shade because i do really like that shade i do think in fall i might get used to this shade a little bit more just because it's more fall like if you know what i mean same with the bronze i might get more use out of that actually i might get it used out in the summer because bronze colors are in for summer and i do like those for summer so maybe i'll get used out of that then i'm not really sure to be honest with you and yeah i just want to keep extending the pans panning stuff so i'm going to keep working with this palette i know it's getting to the point where i'm using up all the shadows it's getting to the point where when i'm home i just like to explore with my makeup when i'm busy i like to you know just stick to the basics so i would be panning this more if i wasn't like home and wanting to use certain products because all my makeup was with me it's cool my makeup wasn't with me so it's easier to just focus on this but that's okay i think we've made pretty good progress i really love the progress that we have made or i have made you have done nothing in this i have sorry so yeah this is the progress i'm really happy with it and yeah this is gonna be it for my pen palette video i feel like this is the probably one of the shortest pen palette videos i almost did maybe not i don't know but yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give a thumbs up comment down below what you're panning what your progress is if it's on instagram tag me i'd love to see it and all that kind of fun stuff please subscribe if you haven't already because i post videos every single week mondays wednesdays fridays and sometimes bonus days so yeah hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified and yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye